Hey guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here. Welcome to episode 3 of Getting to Know Unreal Engine. Uh, so, what we learned last time was how to manipulate our landscape. We kind of just made the landscape. We haven't really done more than that. Oops, let's undo that. <laughs> let's just zoom out real quick so we can get a nice view of our landscape to play with. And uh, if we go to our landscape tool, we can choose different types of brushes to do different things. So we can make a ramp, for example. Um, we can sculpt uh, noise, which is great for just making a floor kind of random. So it's not just flat, it gives it a little bit of bump to it. Um, all these different things like hydro erosion, we can add it to these mountains and add a little bit of damage to them. Uh, so there's lots of things we can do with the landscape editor. Um, I usually use a sculpt tool and then maybe a smoothing tool or something like that after. Uh, but I wanted to show you another really cool tool called the foliage tool. And uh, the foliage tool lets you draw grass, plants, things like that. So if we turn on static mesh and then search for grass. Uh, in our Infinity Lands grasslands project, we actually have some. We don't want the ones from the cave because those aren't that great. Um, we want the one from SM Plains Grass 1. So we'll drag that foliage piece here. And the cool thing about that piece, oops, that is, oh yeah, that is it. It's just loading the texture, so that's okay. Um, the cool thing about that grass is, let me drag one in here so you can see it. Uh, not only does it add some texture to the ground, but it sways a bit, it sways in the wind, so it's, it's really dynamic and looks really nice. Uh, so we'll go ahead and delete that. And I just place it in there, we'll delete that. We'll zoom out just a little bit, go back to our landscape tool, or foliage tool, I mean, and we'll see that we have foliage here. So we can change our brush, brush size if we want to, to affect more area. And um, I'm just going to draw in some foliage. And there's a few filters that you can do. Uh, for example, static meshes will actually place foliage on top of boxes, um, which we don't really want. Uh, so let's go ahead and filter landscape static meshes BSP. Uh, let's make our paint density. Actually, let's click on this in our foliage. You can click on each individual piece and choose how many of them per KUU. Uh, for 1,000 by 1,000 area do we place. So we can change this down to like 25. And if we draw, now we have a bunch of grass. And you'll notice that it placed it on top of that static mesh over there. If we use Control Z, we can turn that off. Turn off static meshes and click it again. And now it's below the static mesh over there. And I think that actually is a pretty good density. We could probably lower it even more. If we click on this and go down to, um, oh, I didn't even set it to 25. I have to press enter after. And then we'll click. Yeah, now it's kind of spread out a little bit more, not as crazy. And if we hit play, sorry for that, uh, we can walk around and we have this really cool looking moving grass. So I really like that. Uh, we can also, um, go in here and let's see hold shift to erase so if we zoom out and hold shift like I say I don't really want these ones here but I'm okay with those ones you can erase certain ones which is a nice feature especially if you're like I don't want them growing on the rocks up here so let's get rid of those right and just have it where we want it and then we can draw more over here uh, another thing you can do with this tool is, let's say you want to add flowers. Let's get rid of all that grass over there. And let's find some flowers in here. 
Well, here's some ground cover. Here's a leaf kind of plant. Uh, here's another leafy kind of plant. Uh, what's what else looks good? Here's some flowers. There's four different flowers in planes. And we're going to set all of these down to 25 because uh, it's going to be way too much altogether. So this one is at 25. This is at 25. And this might even be too much because we have so many different types of foliage. But we'll try it anyway. It'll look nice. So now all of these are set to 25. And the cool thing is, is you can add all the foliage here and say, right now I only want to paint grass and uncheck these other ones. Or right now I only want to paint trees. Or right now I only want to add this, etc. So it's pretty cool in that sense. But let's try it with all of these different uh, foliage types. So that's a ton of stuff in here. Still loading up the textures for some of that, so we'll wait for that to load. All right, cool. So now let's hit play. And we're going to run over this way. And look at all that. That foliage looks very nice and realistic. Stuff is moving in the in the wind. We have larger plants that aren't swaying as much. This looks pretty cool. We could design some pretty intricate and different types of environments with this, depending on what kind of plants you put in. I think it's pretty neat. You can also do this with trees. You can say a uh, tree. And let's add this cherry tree and let's see yeah, let's add this one up all right so now we have two trees so we're going to turn off all the other foliage types except for the trees And for the trees, we're going to set it to 25 density, just like the other ones. Because 100 is just way too dense. And let's see if we can put a little forest outside of this. Let's go ahead and draw that. And wait for the textures to load. Or the shaders, I should say. So now we can hit play, and I'll run over this way, and we'll see we have grass, and we have trees now, and it's not the coolest looking, but it probably shouldn't have chosen those soul cave trees, so I might even remove those. So let's go ahead and zoom out, and we can selectively erase those. We can say I only want to get rid of that type. And we'll hit play again. And if I run over here, we'll say we'll see that now we have a much more realistic kind of foresty baby forest or orchard kind of thing, right? Uh, we can also add the rest of this foliage in here, so we can turn off the trees and turn these on. some of that under the trees of course and then just to make it more realistic we can get rid of some of these flowers and plants and just add some grass on the outliers of this so I can say like around here 
So now, sorry about that again. <laughs> There's grass everywhere. Some areas are denser than others and have a more wide variety of foliage. And then we have trees um, in our game over here. So yeah, I think it's a pretty cool start so far. It's a nice way to add some uh, cool effects to your game and make it look more realistic. Uh, I'm going to stop this video here since we're at about 10 minutes. And um, if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. Peace.